morning guys we are just going through Launceston now we woke up this morning I think we stayed at the Launceston Holiday Park Lagana it was super cute and we really enjoyed our stay there we were really tired last night after that hike yesterday so we were pretty much ready for bed and we went straight to bed like it I think it was like 8.30 last night we were tired so um, but yeah we came through Launceston last night so we didn't really get to see much of it but it looks really beautiful from what I've seen so far and I'm pretty excited because today we're going to go and go past the Ben Lomond National Park and we're kind of going to go the more scenic way to Swansea which is nearby uh, where Wineglass Bay is and we're hopefully going to get to do the walk there today. So we're doing a bit of a weird loop slash trip with this because we're trying to follow the good weather and tomorrow is not meant to be good weather so we thought about coming back up to Launceston then um, only because it's a bit more of a city slash town and you can actually I guess do a few more things inside here whereas if we're out in the middle of nowhere we're going to really struggle to do things in really torrential rain so tomorrow's not looking so good but we're going to try and come back up this way to see a little bit more of Launceston and hopefully that works out well for us and hopefully we get to do the walk at Wine Glass Bay today because I'm really looking forward to that. We have just arrived in Fingal, which is in northeastern Tasmania, um, and it was probably about an hour's drive from Launceston. Uh, we are going to put the drone up now and just kind of give you guys a nice overview of the town and just the area that it's in. It's kind of near the Ben Lomond National Park, uh, but we haven't sort of gone directly in there uh, today because we just don't have the time, unfortunately. But we're going to get the drone up now. We're going to get Buzz up and hopefully we get some good footage. Dan's going to get Buzz. Just getting the stuff out, putting him together. <laughs> We've just arrived at Freysenet, or Freysenet, can't really pronounce it yet, a National Park, and we are on our way to Wineglass Bay. We are doing the walk that just goes to the lookout for now, because I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to go to the beach exactly, um, but we'll see. There's a lot of mosquitoes around too, and Dan doesn't have any repellent um, or anything to cover up with, so this is going to be a bit fun. <laughs> We've made it to the wine glass bay lookout. Look how beautiful that is. This friendly little wallaby. Just walking like right past the walking track here. So cute. Good morning guys and welcome to Swansea. So we have stayed in Swansea overnight at the Swansea Holiday Park and it was so beautiful. It's so well maintained and everything seems quite new too, very updated and it was just a really nice day. And now we have gotten our coffee from the camp kitchen and we are sitting just on their own kind of like private area of beach I believe and uh, looking at the Freysenet, Freysenet? Still haven't worked that out um, national park so it's such a beautiful morning the weather is actually meant to be terrible for today so we're actually really lucky to have gotten this nice 
sunny morning. Dan is actually just getting the drone ready to put up because we just want to take our opportunities with that while we can. Um, and yeah, so today we were going to head off back to Launceston and maybe do some, I don't know, some shopping or like look around the city and town and, and just um, see a little bit more of it. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like really surprised at how good the weather is now. I don't think it's meant to be like this all day though. So I think we're very lucky as it is right now, but we're just sort of like taking a really nice calming moment just to sort of see the national park from across the bay and yeah, just relax. and bacon but we have to do it separately you have to do the hush browns first then the bacon then the eggs <laughs> because we've only got one pan by the time that the hash browns are ready i'll put the bacon in and then the hash browns will be cold and then by the time i put the eggs in and i've taken the bacon <laughs> both the egg uh the bacon and the hash browns will be cold so that's okay we have a microwave which is good so that's what i'll do next um but looking forward to it i love hash browns and bacon and eggs especially camping i don't know why it's it tastes so much better when you're camping also gotta wash up because we're filthy <laughs> so yeah looking forward to breakfast <laughs> filthy <laughs> oh my god so this is the view of the national park that we can actually see from our van this morning so it's very nice there's really not too many people here at the caravan park today. There's only, I think, a few vans. Even though when I went to book, it said that, one yeah, one spot left. So I was like freaking out and I was like, oh, we'll have to book quickly. And then, and then this is what we got. See, <laughs> there should be at least three or four vans on that side and then another three or four vans on that side. But there is no one. No one. We are hoping to like I said, go to Launceston today. If the weather sort of holds up a little bit more, we might be able to go to a few different places that we didn't think we could go to uh, today, but I don't know, we'll see. We're, we're just hoping to take this day a little bit more slower because we feel that every day we've been here um, with the van, we've been really busy. We've been trying to get to a destination very quickly and we just kind of want to have a bit of a chill day where we just visit some of the towns um, through Tasmania and, yeah, just kind of have that little bit more of a chill day because it's sometimes hard to do that when you are on a time limit um, with us only having the van for about five days. So we really want to make sure that we see what we want to see, but also take time to actually have a holiday and relax and yeah, just kind of have a really nice day to ourselves as well. Coming into Launceston now and it is still pretty sunny for us. So we've just made it to Cataract Gorge and we are going to go have a little look around. We decided to come here while the weather is still good. I don't know how much longer it will hold up for. Some little, I'm not really sure what they are, whether they're wallabies. They look really small. So cute. There's a little baby one just in there. Last time we spoke to you, we were at Cataract Gorge. 
after that we went into the city of Launceston and we just walked around and looked at some of the cute stores around and um, we had some lunch nothing very exciting and then the weather turned so quickly it was really sunny really beautiful and then all of a sudden it just the, the dark clouds came over and it started pouring down rain it's been sunny all day and the rain is finally here and it's just gone dreadful so we've come to um, our campsite this afternoon we stayed here a couple nights ago and um, you may be able to hear but it's pouring down rain still so we're sitting in here we're just having um, mugs of wine and we're just watching some videos on YouTube at the moment. We've had the heater going as well because it's quite cold and uh, we're probably just going to bunker down for the rest of the night. It's really, really early and because of the weather we haven't been able to go out for a few hours and do some things. So yeah, it's going to be a comfy night in, drinking wine. We also have some cheese so I think that's a pretty good comfy night for us. Tomorrow we head back to Hobart where we have to the car back at the end of the day so it's probably going to be a few hours drive down to Hobart we would have really loved to go to Port Arthur or even uh, Mount Wellington in Hobart even the Botanic Gardens down in Hobart we might not have enough time to do all of those things but that's okay we've really enjoyed our Tasmanian trip so far and we really really want to come back and we know that next time where we would love to go that we haven't been able to get to and we, we know that we would spend a lot more time here next time. We're really, really excited to come back here. Um, hopefully in the future, in the next year or so. We're going to end it here for the night. See you guys tomorrow.